أكد صاحب السمو الملكي الأمير سلمان بن حمد الخليفة ولي العهد رئيس مجلس الوزراء أن التغير المناخي يمثل تحديا عالميا يتطلب من الجميع تسخير كافة الإمكانيات وتبادل أفضل الممارسات للتغلب عليه عبر وضع الحلول المتقدمة للوصول إلى الأمن المناخي الذي تتطلع إليه دول العالم ونوه سموه إلى أن الجميع يتقاسم مسؤولية الحفاظ على البيئة ومن أجل ذلك ينبغي البناء على ما تحقق ومضاعفة الجهود خلال المراحل المقبلة وأشار سموه إلى أن مملكة البحرين داعمة لكل ما من شأنه تحقيق الأهداف المناخية التي تسهم في حماية كوكب الأرض وضمان مستقبل أكثر أمانا وجودة للأجيال القادمة لافتا إلى أن الجميع يتقاسم مسؤولية الوصول إلى الأمن المناخي ومن أجل ذلك ذلك ينبغي البناء على ما تحقق ومضاعفة الجهود خلال المراحل المقبلة هذا وينعقد المؤتمر السادس والعشرين للأطراف في اتفاقية الأمم المتحدة الإطارية بشأن تغير المناخ كوب السادس والعشرين بمشاركة رؤساء وممثلي الدول والمنظمات الإقليمية والدولية والمدنية والمدعوين والمهتمين بالشأن البيئي والتغير المناخي ويناقش أبرز التحديات البيئية وسبل توحيد الجهود الدولية لضمان الأمن البيئي وقد ألقى سمو حفظ حفظ كلمة خلال مشاركة اليوم في المؤتمر السادس والعشرين للأطراف في اتفاقية الأمم الإطارية بشأن تغير المناخ كوب السادس والعشرين المنعقد في مدينة جلاسكو بالمملكة المتحدة. It is my pleasure to welcome His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Crown Prince and Prime Minister of Bahrain. Your Excellency. You have the floor. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President, Your Highnesses, Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. For millennia, technological and economic development moved at a steady pace. That is, until the advent of the Industrial Revolution, which set in motion profound changes for mankind, ushering in an era of change made on a previously unimaginable scale. The vast majority of humans alive in the 19th century experienced extreme poverty. Today, the figure stands at less than 10 percent. 200 years ago, half of children born died before the age of five. Now less than 4 percent suffer this fate. Our progress also led to the rise of a global order characterized by economic interdependence, which in turn brought stability to many regions of the world. Sadly, these feats, however impressive, came at a price for our planet, and our collective duty is to ensure that they do not cost us the Earth. In doing so, we must harness our productive potential with the same drive that greeted the dawn of the Industrial Age, marshalling the might and innovation and human ingenuity to propel a greener and more prosperous world. Emissions reductions through investment in renewable energy is certainly a central feature of this approach. But even as we increase renewable energy share of global demand, carbon will remain a fixture of the global energy mix for many years to come. This means that billions of tons of carbon will need to be removed and sequestered each year if we are to arrive at net zero and limit warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius. While the Kingdom of Bahrain is responsible for just 0.07% of global emissions, we recognize, not least as an island nation, that climate change is a global challenge that requires global solutions. Developing the kinds of technologies necessary to meaningfully address the climate crisis requires us to both act in concert, but also to lead by example. Today, I am pleased to announce that Bahrain is committed to reaching net zero by 2060 and has set, in, has set a range of ambitious interim goals to ensure that we proceed without delay. By 2035, we will reduce emissions by 30%, through decarbonization and efficiency initiatives and double our deployment of renewables from the targets we set at COP21. Our 2035 targets also include carbon removal solutions by quadrupling mangrove coverage, doubling tree coverage in Bahrain and directly investing in carbon capture technologies, which we believe is essential. Forums like COP26 and the recently concluding Middle East Green Initiative serve as vital reminders of our shared interests and common future. We must take advantage of these opportunities to deliver upon the, on, the, on the promises we make and have made, identifying multilateral solutions that vitally are accessible to all. 
A future net zero economy capable of propelling humanity to new heights depends entirely on the ability of people to participate in it, both as producers and as consumers. We must therefore ensure that our work to curb emissions moves in lockstep with our work to improve livelihoods. Thank you.